guys. So today I have for you my latest next haul. My name's Fawn and this is my channel. I tried to make it a happy place full of happy people. I do unboxings, shopping hauls, a few reviews and generally chat quite a bit. So if you like the sound of that, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave me a comment. So next haul. You know how I like next and I've left them alone for a little bit just to let them replenish, you know, I can't be trying everything all the time. So the first thing I got was this blouse. Um, it's a really pretty sort of burgundy colour. It has spots all over it. There's a nice neckline. It's got a hook and eye so you can make it high necked if you want. Of course, you know I wouldn't do that. So I'd have to remove that hook and eye because it's not the prettiest thing. It's long length. It's 100% polyester which is a little bit disappointing. Um, it was £24 and I thought it might be, you know, it might lie my wardrobe up a bit. This one, I'm really not sure what I was thinking. It's a little dress that you would wear, or I would wear, I should say, with leggings. It's a purple, mm, colour's going to be an issue today, I think. It's a purple check. Um, elasticated waist, and then it's got a sort of slightly flouncy skirt. It was £34, and I just thought it would be really cute with leggings, but now it's here, not sure I've got the courage to wear it, even if it works. Next is a blazer type jacket. Plain black, long sleeves of course. Got little silver zip pockets on it. It doesn't fasten in any way and it's got almost a sort of a mandarin neck to it. Uh, again, the fabric is not what I expected it to be. It feels really lightweight and a bit flimsy. So I'm not sure that this one will work. This one's by the make only that you buy through next. Um, I, I'm not sure about it, I have to say. Yeah, not sure about that one. Hmm, another one I'm not sure about. It looks so much nicer on the website. It's a shirt, it's check, white and black, three quarter sleeve. It's got little ties on the sleeve. Again, the fabric is not really there for me. It may look great on and then I can overlook the fabric, but it's got a very, very nylon-y feel. Um, it is 100% polyester. Um, yeah, a little bit disappointed in this one. This one was £26. Well, I should make out, make, make out, I should point out that because these are going over the bosoms, I have got an upper size, which I may not have needed to, um, but I've sort of got into the habit of that now because I have so many gaping issues. So these are 18s, even though I'm a 16, and I am buying 16. Oh, anyway, this one I thought looked lovely. Bright red, again, with a sort of a tartan-esque thing going on. Long length. It's got the same kind of neck as the uh, burgundy polka dot. If I do this one up, you can see what I mean. You can actually do it up so it's high necked with a with an opening or leave it undone. Again, £24. Again, 100% polyester. So, you know. And last but not least, I'm most excited about is a, a again, a form of a biker jacket. Um, it has the zip, it has the zip pockets. Now you know from watching my Look Hero that I decided that possibly biker jackets weren't quite, or certainly that one wasn't. It was a great jacket, but it just hit at exactly the wrong place. So this could be exactly the same because I'm gonna stop ordering biker jackets, but I had already ordered this one. But maybe it'll be a little bit longer and I'll like it. And this one was 40 pounds. So, Let's do the try on. <laughs> so this is the first top. As you can see, it is really, really snug. Um, I mean, I'm in it, but it's causing, can you see little rucks, little creases here. Um, it feels very nylon as well, which is not something I like. I will do the neck up if I can. <laughs> I do it yes so that's what it would look like 
I tend not to like that. I don't like anything high up on my neck. I'm just going to do it again. I'll give you the rear view, which is going to look dreadful. I mean, the length is great, but it is really, really snug over the bosoms, across the chest of the top. It's okay down here. I've got fabric here. But this whole expanse is really, really tight. And I am sweating. It is a completely unbreathable top. I will come in so you can get a good look at the pattern. But can you see how snug that is? And it's causing these creases over the bosoms. So that one, nope. There's something not quite right about this dress and I can't quite put my finger on it. It's lovely and comfortable. It's a great size. Love the V-neck. I like the three-quarter sleeve. I like to wear bracelets and things like that. I even quite like the length and the, and the tears. I can visualise this with boots and so on. But there's something odd going on here. And I don't know what it is particularly so on the back. I tried pulling it down, but of course the minute I move my arms it moves. There's something, it's just not lying right and I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what it is that's wrong. Um, I want to come in and let you see the colour. I mean, I think it's fun and it's jolly and it's, I could see it with black boots as I say and a jacket and I mean, I had it in my head exactly how this would look. And it does fit. And it is comfy and easy. But there's something going on through here. And I can't put my finger on it. Whether it's that maybe I should be pulling it up. Maybe it's meant to be more of an empire. I'm going to have to look at the film, obviously, because now I've pulled it up. It might look really, really bizarre. Maybe I'm meant to do that. Or maybe I'm meant to put, but it won't go all the way down. You know, my waist is here. So that elastic won't go all the way down there. So I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the camera and take you guys advice. But it is a fun little dress. I can see myself throwing this on with leggings and getting on about my day. Okay, the fit on this blouse is far better. You know, there's lots of room. In fact, there's tons, tons of room. I can tell I sized up in this one. But there's something, hmm, I'm just about to say something about that's not right. There's a few things that aren't right. I mean, it is a cute top. I think it's a cute top. But the balloon sleeves, they're bothering me a bit. And of course, they've got these ties that hang down. I mean, I can just see those in the dishwater water when I'm washing the dishes. Um, and it's very high necked, even though it is open. If I come in, it's open necked, but this up here, is sitting very high on my neck. It's not sitting here. It's actually on the neck. Um, it doesn't really like being open, I wouldn't say. And I'm not sure that the colour and pattern is quite right. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure about this whole area. It is a really cute blouse. And for someone, it may be perfect. But I think with my body shape and my issues, this is another bust. Which is really weird, because this is next, and I love next. Well, I'm having a really bad day here. This is this jacket that isn't next, it's only through next. This is extra large, my friends, and this is going nowhere near me. It's a cute jacket. It's almost like a cardigan. It's not heavyweight at all. But as you can see, I have very little room in this. And if I come in, you can see that it's even sort of cutting on the shoulders. I mean... <laughs> It's just sort of highlighting the bazoomers. I think the length is pretty cute. I mean, if you're a slimmer lady than me, this could be fabulous on you because it really is. It's nice. I was not sure when I got it out of the packaging. I thought, hmm, well, that's a bit disappointing. It doesn't feel like I expected it to. But, you know, if it fitted, I would probably be keeping this because it does feel really nice. But I need to be a lot petita. I'm so disappointed to say that this is absolutely identical in cut and fit to the burgundy spot one. Um, I love the colour. I like the sleeves. I like the length. Really good length wearing. 
I mean, it's so bright and cheery. I like the fact that it'll open here. But once again, I am having boob problems. And this is an 18, ladies. So I've gone up a size and I'm still having, I mean, a minute, a minute. I'm perfectly decent, but I'm not very comfortable. I think I've got a big, you know, where it's too tight across this sort of band of me. I think it probably looks really bad on the back as well. And it's just not, it's causing rucking here, sort of folds of fabric here. It's just that fraction too tight. It's a lovely shirt, otherwise and I am pretty gutted. So that's one, two, three, four, five things and no winners yet. So let's just try that last jacket. I'll leave this on and we'll see. I think we have a winner. I think we actually have one thing that I like and it's this jacket. It's really stretchy. It's a sort of a cotton denim fabric, but with tons of stretch in it. It's got pockets, which I can put my hands in. What I like about it is it's coming that little bit lower on my body. The other one, the one from Nakira was sort of up here. I like that this is a little bit lower on my body. It's the back. I can indeed do it up, I will. I would never wear it like that, but I'm gonna show it to you guys. So that, whoop, so you don't think I'm fibbing. So I can do that, and that's comfortable. It is comfortable, if I was out in a storm, and thought, oh, I'm gonna to have to do my coat up, I could. It's got one of these sort of asymmetric that's going like that. Um, I like the poppers up here. They don't serve any purpose, I don't believe, but they're just decoration. And it's 40 pounds, which I think is really good. And I could totally see this over a little dress. And in fact, in the interest of being a really good YouTuber, I'm gonna go and stick a dress on so we can have a look. This is one of my baggy dresses that my husband hates. <laughs> I've still kept the black leggings on. Imagine I'd have black or pink tights, some good black boots. I am on the hunt for flat black knee length boots. Haven't found any that I'm mad about yet, but I have ordered some from, mm, I wanna say TK Maxx, I'm not sure, so I should have some soon. Anyway, um, I think it works great. I think it really does. I think it looks totally the part. I'm really happy with this. This would be a tick in the box of a sort of a casual motorbiker jacket. Um, and 40 pounds, I think the one from Lakira was 69. Not that, I mean, if the one from Lakira had been perfect, I would have kept it. But can you see what I mean about it being fractionally longer? Just makes me feel slightly more in proportion and that that line the jacket forms is lower on me. So, one winner. I mean, what's going on? Next is normally my go-to for clothes. And you know, I've had all these pieces and the only one that works is this jacket which after the experience with the Lakiro jacket, I was thinking, mm, why did I bother to order that? And it's the only one that I like, but I do like it. It is staying. It's very comfortable. 40 pounds, I think is a bargain. So that was my next haul. Now guys, I say to everybody, please leave comments and all of that, but I have to give some apologies. I'm gonna be doing this in every video for a little while. I'm really slow on comments at the minute. My younger daughter has hurt her back really badly doing the horses, doing hay and so on. Um, and I'm having to spend an awful lot of time looking after my grandchildren because she can't bend, um, she can't get down on the floor, she can't do any of the things that you need to do when you've got a one-year-old, a three-year-old and a four-year-old. So I'm in there all the time, um, taking them to nursery and doing things. So my life has got really, really busy for a few days, well, a week or so. Um, and of course, because of coronavirus and lockdown she can't just trundle into the doctors they don't want to see you if it's bad enough that you need to see someone they just say go to a e and there's no point in doing that so i am slow and i can only really apologize it's not me that's not my way i love comments and i love to hear from you and talk to you but i'm a little bit under the gun at the minute <laughs> with everything that's going on um, and i'm grabbing a little gap now just taking the boys to nursery um, and Lara is having a nap, so I have run upstairs to do this haul, and I'm going to try and film another video. So I'll be looking very much the same, but it's different products, and they've been waiting for a little while. So, okay, 
Um, I love you all guys and I hope you're all well and looking after yourselves and um, if you like any things what I will do is I will um, try and put what these things were in the box below because they were some really nice things guys they just were working on me so okay bye